Hi, this is Dean Tagashi from VentureBeat. I'm with uh, Joe Melfi from D-Link here, and he's uh, got a nice demo here at the Intel Developer Forum. It's uh, the Boxy Box, uh, which is, that's what it looks like on screen, and this is the Boxy Box here, and this is your, your thing, the D-Link uh, router. So, uh, can you uh, give me a little demo here of uh, what you got? Sure. Mm -hmm. So, I'm going to give you a demonstration of Boxy Box by D-Link. Mm -hmm. And this is about getting content, digital content, from anywhere, whether it's a local store or something you want to stream from the internet. We're going to make this very easy for you to access, bring down content, watch it on your high def screen, using your home theater system, and enjoy the entertainment that you deserve. This is about giving you freedom. So we make content very accessible. We have lots of categories. You can categorize your content into photos, music, and movies. We allow you to go and grab TV shows, bring them down and watch them uh, on demand whenever you need to. Things that are web-based, we can bring in through our apps menu, uh, lots of content that way. We even let you browse to find content that maybe is on your local storage, such as network tech storage, uh, PC share, if you have a media server at home. It doesn't matter where your content's coming from, we make it very easily accessible. There's even a social flavor to this. Uh, you can build, you'll have a feed list here that people can share things that they think is interesting. So if a friend of mine is, uh, is a boxy box customer uh, or uh, somebody on uh, a social site. So these are people say, tweeting from the TV? Uh, sure, yeah. sure. And they say, hey, I've got something really cool you ought to see. Uh -huh. It'll show up in my feed list. Uh -huh. Content providers can suggest to me things that they think is interesting that will show up in my featured list. Uh -huh. And then I can build my own list. So in the queue, I'm uh, selecting things that I want to put into the queue so I can view them at any time. So, for example, we'll go into some of the apps here, uh -huh. and uh, all of these are pre-built apps. So you don't have to go out and find apps. You don't have to find content. We're making these accessible to you by arrangements that we're doing. So it saves you a lot of work. It, uh -huh. it just makes it very accessible, easy to navigate, and brings lots of this into you. So this is, for example, we're going to say, I want to see the entire app content library. Uh -huh. There's over 200. Uh -huh. This list is building by the time we and announce. You, you have this many now because you have, this is almost like a second generation for you, I guess. So you've got the software now. Well, it's, and then, it's, uh -huh. we're constantly adding. We're making uh -huh. arrangements with content providers. Uh -huh. We have some premium content providers that we're going to announce. Uh -huh. We have some really great high def content coming. So uh -huh. by the time this launches, and, and it's in, launching uh, in November, November yeah. there's going to be a lot of really great stuff. Okay. So if I, you know, to shorten my, so we list, can expect a lot more than 200 apps. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Okay. So I can shorten that list from 200 down to, I'll say, my apps, I've picked 21 in this case. Mm -hmm. It makes it easier for me to find things. And if and I want, I can go ahead uh -huh. and I can search by name. Okay. And to make this really easy, instead of having to rely on the cursor keys, uh -huh. I'm going to flip this remote control over to the back side. Uh -huh. We have a full QWERTY keyboard here. Okay. This is an RF wireless keyboard. Uh -huh. You can sit on your couch. You don't need to be wired uh, line of sight. Uh -huh. You can get anything you want at the keystroke. So uh -huh. touch of a keystroke, it's very easy to uh, to navigate. Uh -huh. um, I can sort the list. I how, can filter. How also functional is each app here? Are, are they um, sort of like a subset of what you would do on the web, or are they um, pretty much everything you can do on the web? So we are making relationships with all these content providers, uh -huh. and the idea is that we're going to constantly add content. So uh -huh. whatever you can get today, we have uh, arrangements with people working, we have content providers coming to us to get onto this list. So uh -huh. lots and lots of content that's, that's out there. Uh -huh. And if you should feel that, well, I know of something that doesn't exist yet, you can go ahead and use the file browser, the, uh, the web browser, uh -huh. and you can go and access it yourself. Uh -huh. So you can just pull this up, and, and is that accessing the whole web or? This accesses anything on the web. Okay. The entire web is now at your fingertips. Uh -huh. Again, using the full keyboard, mm -hmm. you can get to anything you want. Uh -huh. cool. And on video, what do you what do you have here for movies and TV shows? So you know, if you wanted to play local content, in this case we have an SD flash uh -huh. plugged in. Mm -hmm. There are also two USB. Uh -huh. And uh, you can access network shares. I think I mentioned that already. Uh -huh. And uh, I'll show you a couple of new tricks here. Uh -huh. So if I wanted to do more info, 
This will pull up information from the IMDb movie database. Uh -huh. I can add this to my queue, so this now will go into my list. Uh -huh. I can mark it as watched or unwatched, so I know whether I've seen the movie already. Uh -huh. I can add a shortcut, so there are seven shortcut spots in the very front. So if you really want fast access to something you do a lot, you can add this to the front of your list. Uh -huh. Here's where I can share this with somebody. If I think it's really cool and I want to share with a friend or family, I can click on this. And sometimes the database isn't always right. You can correct it right here. So you have total freedom of what you want to do with this. If I already started playing this and I, I paused it and I walked away, mm -hmm. I could restart it from the beginning mm -hmm. and watch it from where I left off. Mm -hmm. So there's a lot of user friendliness that's been built into this. Mm -hmm. And what are the different sources for the movies and TV shows? Like okay, a, good question. I was just going to uh -huh. show you something okay. here for that. So right now, uh -huh. um, I've told it to build this library of uh -huh. content that came from my flash drive. Uh -huh. But maybe I want to access something else on my network, for example. Uh -huh. So I can use my cursor go down to Manage Sources. Uh -huh. And now I'm back to my file browser. I can go out and find content somewhere else on my network uh -huh. or on the Internet. Uh -huh. okay. So it's very easy to uh, not only to use for content that you already added, but also easy to add more content. Uh -huh. And how can consumers get this once this uh, comes out in November? Okay, so uh, this will be available through all of the normal dealing channels where you buy your dealing products, your routers, and so on. Uh -huh. It was announced this morning that it is available for pre-order. You can just go to Amazon.com and you can order it there. Uh -huh. um, it's, a, it's a great product. And I'm for how much? Uh -huh. So we're, it's a 229 list, uh -huh. and we're uh, we're looking for street prices somewhere around uh, 199. Uh -huh. So lastly, and it does include the uh -huh control by the way so mm -hmm. simple navigation on one side mm -hmm. and full query keyword on the other side mm -hmm. so if you, if you could if you could included if you could price. sum up what uh, what you guys can do that nobody else can what would you say like, uh, well we, mm -hmm. we have total freedom mm -hmm. for the user to uh, find whatever content they want to play we're not telling people what limited content they can have access to mm -hmm. we're making it really easy for any content to be accessible and by uh, making a really great easy to use interface mm -hmm. and by providing a really great uh, remote control. I think we've accomplished that, and people are very happy with you know being able to have access to anything that they want. Cool. That's uh, Joe Melfi from uh, Daily. Thank you very much.